Let's go to Southern California. Head about an hour west of the glitz and glamour of Los Angeles, and you'll arrive in Westlake Village, California. Here you'll find Oaks Christian School. It offers a challenging academic curriculum, but also boasts a proud athletic tradition. Jim Banker was excited to take over the Oaks Christian football program last year after spending the previous 26 seasons at nearby Westlake High School. Oaks Christian has a tremendous history, uh, um, winning CIF championships. Coming here is just kind of uh, a great thing for me. He's also happy to inherit a talent like Stanford commit Colby Parkinson. Go. Colby's a six foot seven inch, 230 pound tight end, but he can be a tough matchup on either side of the ball. We played against Colby uh, when I was at Westlake, and uh, you know he was an outstanding defensive player. And when I came here uh, a year ago, uh, Colby lined up in the slot. There were some is issues from it because he hadn't played football. He was playing basketball. He's playing baseball, and you know he's a three-sport guy. And you know he he was a little behind. But when he caught up, uh, you know his athletic ability showed and just thrived. And uh, not only that, but his. His ability to relate with the players and the coaches was, is excellent. Colby's athleticism comes from trying to keep up with his older brother Garrett when he was little. My dad would actually be scared because he'd be throwing, we'd be playing catch with the baseball or something. He'd be throwing it so hard that my dad would be scared. He'd have to go inside because he couldn't watch. The two of them um, were not playing video games. They were in the backyard shooting basketball, playing football, playing baseball. They used to go in the backyard and my oldest one would take Colby and treat Colby as if he was the same age. So say they're playing baseball, my oldest would take the ball and throw it so hard at Colby, it would hurt Colby, um, he would miss it. Colby might try to cry a little bit and he would come in the house and I'm like, hey, if you're gonna play with the big boys, if you wanna play with Garrett, you're gonna have to stay out there and push through that. But I actually was going inside because I was afraid Colby was gonna get hurt and I couldn't watch. And my oldest son just pushed him and pushed him and pushed him in a really positive way. And I give a lot of credit to him. Colby grew up loving three sports, football, baseball, and basketball, and he continued to play them all into high school. While some parents and coaches disagree on whether it's more beneficial to play multiple sports or just focus on one, Colby says being a multi-sport athlete has been great for him. You're not only working one body group, so that leads to injury, and then you're also not getting burnt out on the sport, because I feel like if I was playing football, 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 then at the end of the day, I'm just gonna get tired of it, and that's the same with any other sport. So I think keeping that mix in there is always a good thing. He loved uh, all three, and he still does, football, basketball, uh, and baseball. I think it was more uh, natural for him for football, because I think he's been doing that the longest. So that football acumen and that football IQ, um, I think he was a little further along, so I think he felt more confident there. But um, he, he, you ask if you were to ask him about what his favorite sport is, he'll say, "Ask me, you know, d during what season." Playing three sports is awesome, you know, to from go from one to the next, and and uh, you know, he he was one of the the, the guys that could do that, and and uh, was really a, a top basketball, top baseball, and a top football player. But as as he got older, I think. And this year especially, uh, he, he had to drop one of the sports so that he could really concentrate on getting in the weight room and doing the things he had to do to, to really uh, follow his dreams of playing uh, big-time football at, at a great university like Stanford. Being a tight end, Colby's excited to join a Stanford program that's produced professionals at that position like Zach Ertz and Kobe Fleener. It's tight end university, that's what we call, like to call it. Me and Coach Turner, the tight end coach up there. Um, it's the perfect fit because they use me like they should use me. He's a great asset to our, our offense because he can put his hand down and, and become a really good uh, tight end and a blocking type uh, player in there at 6'7 and 230. Uh, you know, he's, he has the ability to push his weight around a little bit with his hand down, but he also has the ability to stand up and really dominate, uh, you know, in the pass game. So uh, does a great job running routes and has some stupendous hands. Colby's interest in Stanford goes beyond just a professional dream. He's long admired the school's reputation in academics as well. I asked him, where do you want to go to college? And I was like, Stanford. I was very happy to hear him say that. I was like, well, then you're going to have to be self-motivated to get the grades because you can't use just sports to get into a school uh, of that caliber. So from early on, I've always been focused on the classroom. I've, I've never taken myself too seriously, and I've always just realized that academics come first. While Colby has the athletic ability and the drive to play football for a long time, he doesn't want the game to define who he is. He's the president of his school's chapter of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and he continues to work hard in the classroom as he has an interest in studying engineering. He doesn't know how far football will take him, but he is confident that what he does off the field will be a great benefit to him in the long term. I want to be mainly known as a guy that's a humble guy that's uh, more concerned with uh, who's my, like, God than uh, who I am. The catches are great, and 
um, the touchdowns and all of that. For, but for us as, as parents, the, the proud moment was when he was able to go speak to a class of fifth graders and, um, and minister to them and, and share some stories. He put his whole football uniform on and talked about the armor of God and um, gave a little Bible lesson. He's the best our society has to offer. I can't say enough about him uh, as, as a person.